Oh, I forgot how bright this ring light is. Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Carrie. I'm currently redecorating my New York City apartment and this is episode four in my series chronicling that process. So welcome. In one of the past videos, I had asked you guys to pick between two different curtains. I'm gonna link the playlist up here so that you can go and catch up on them. And a lot of people had opinions and cast their votes in the comments. And so I thought that I would do a kind of take on what was a popular, I think, YouTube trend and basically like a followers or subscribers or whatever control my life for a day pick my Starbucks order anything along those lines but we're gonna do that with some decor I know what I am gravitating towards for the most part but I'm also a little conflicted so I thought I might as well see what you guys have been liking as well I put a series of polls out on my Instagram story asking you guys to pick between a few different pieces in everything from rugs to floor lamps to I think I also did the curtains again I have a few stools that I liked benches things like that now that those are all done and expired and the results are in I am happy to report that there for the most part were some pretty clear preferences one way or the other which is also interesting because they weren't all necessarily the ones that I was gravitating towards in this video I'm gonna be showing you how I use various tools to kind of help me on my decor design process for me those are things like my MacBook I also have an iPad Pro which I am still kind of figuring out how to use for this purpose but it is definitely helpful and we're also just gonna be talking about the design and decor process in general. All of that actually brings me to the sponsor of today's video, which is Skillshare. They are an online learning community where millions of people go to take kind of the next step in their creative journey. What that looks like can obviously range and vary significantly based on who you are and the things you're interested in. It doesn't even have to fit necessarily in what you would at first think of a creative box per se, from design to art, that kind of thing, because really Skillshare has so many classes that run the gamut in terms of all lifestyle topics. I thought they were actually a perfect partner for this video because of course we're talking about design and decor. I'm also going to be showing you how I use some graphic design tools and they have classes that relate to all of those different areas. And the whole structure of it is super easy to personalize and make sure that it fits with your schedule. So if you guys are interested in learning more, if you're interested in signing up, click the link in my description box and the first 500 people to do so will get two free months of Skillshare Premium. Premium members unlock access to all of the classes that are on the platform so it's a really great opportunity to explore the platform get familiar with it and learn some new things and now let's get into the rest of this video if you want to stay updated on this series make sure to just subscribe to my channel maybe even turn on your post notifications if you want to and check back because I'm really excited to keep sharing these and I think you guys are liking it let's get into it Today I do not have my like monitor set up, but I do have my laptop right here. So I'm gonna screen record it. The first thing that I'm gonna do just so we're good to go for this entire thing is just make a blank Photoshop document. I'm gonna make it pretty large. I'm gonna just go 3000 by 2000. I already cut out most of these things. So I already have like all the photos that I need or at least most of them without their backgrounds. But that is what you would wanna do ideally in this case, especially if you're doing it on Photoshop and you wanna like layer things. Real quick, what you're gonna see me use in this video is going to be exclusively done on Photoshop, but that's not to say you can't use other programs. If you don't have Photoshop or if you just are not as experienced with it, if you also don't need to cut out your backgrounds, I actually really like Google Slides. They have a really nice built-in feature where the photos will kind of snap together and like align themselves. Or there'll be like lines that'll appear on the screen that can help you align things. And it's really great, especially if you're mood boarding specifically. Another really great tool that I have used a lot for various things is Canva. They have a version that you can pay for, but the the free version is super, super helpful. I don't pay for it and it's great. The things that I put on my Instagram story for you guys to vote on weren't necessarily all for a specific area of the apartment. So I am going to be putting together other pieces that I already have so that you can kind of see what they would look like when they come together. But the first one is curtains. Now, what's interesting to me is that most of these actually were pretty much a, not unanimous vote, but it was pretty heavily swayed one way or the other, except for the curtains, because I'm either choosing between pink or white. It ended up being a very close call, but actually the pink velvet won. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put that together with my green headboard. You could either do them layered a little bit, which is kind of what they'll look like when you look at it visually over there. So I'm gonna do that. And I think these look cool together. Pink is like not really my color, but for some reason with this specific shade of green, I think pink is a really nice compliment. I'm also gonna add in the bedding that I have and try to figure out a way to put it on there so that it kind of looks like it's on the bed. There, I feel like this is a, <laughs> it's like the, 
the easy way to do it. Also bear with me, this is all very rough. There's our headboard and our comforter and our curtains. We're off to a good start. Next in this area would be my shelves. The options that I had you guys pick between for this one were just a set of super basic shelves that are actually from Home Depot and very, very affordable, but actually like weirdly, in my opinion, super chic. And then the other was this tubular chrome etagere, which um, is basically just a shelf unit. It's a fancy word for a shelf unit that is vintage and was something that I had seen in person and really just fell in love with the shape. I have been gravitating so much towards chrome lately and you'll see it more throughout this video. Also, sorry, there are helicopters outside at 10 at night right now, but let's get those guys in here and find them. Where are they? For this one, I just pulled a picture off Pinterest and got rid of the background. The ones that I'm planning to have are A, gonna be slimmer and also not quite as crowded. I'm almost embarrassed to say this, but I just don't have a large collection of books. You get the general gist of it from this photo at least. I actually think I'm gonna do a little bit of a DIY on them, so I'll be sharing that in a future video. There we go. What do you guys think so far? I'm definitely gonna have to do some like re-spacing out and moving things around, but you get the idea. Next for this area is a rug. Because this duvet cover basically that I chose is pretty busy, even though it's black and white and like generally on the more minimal side, it's not a crazy pattern. It is still definitely a statement in itself and the green is a statement and I feel like the pink is a statement. And so my idea for the rug was either to go very simple and do like a round white one or do something that has a little bit of a color. The one that I chose that has a color actually is technically a pink. It's a pretty pale kind of creamy pink. That's what won. So we're going to put it in here. And this is from Jonathan Adler's Now House collection on Amazon. I have a few things from that collection in my apartment here and love it. Love him. He's one of my favorite designers. As you can see, these maybe don't look the greatest together, but here we are. I feel like the rug would look a little better if the curtains also weren't a similar shade. All right, so now let's move on to the second part, which is sitting mirror area. I'm gonna open up another blank document. And then I also opened up the, I don't know, mood board space plan, whatever you wanna call it. I have it saved as rough space plan that we did in the first episode of the series um, because I'm gonna be pulling some of the things out like the mirror and also the um, plant. And then the next piece, which is gonna be in this area is a stool. The two that I chose are, one was this purple one and one was this chrome one. The purple one is a huge splurge though and is something that I've been kind of going back and forth whether or not it's worth it. It's by an actual furniture designer called Cartel and so I knew that the price was going to be what it was. In this apartment, I'm willing to splurge on some things and I'm also going very high-low is pretty much how I decorate, how I dress, everything. So I'm trying to be really mindful of that, but you guys picked the cheaper option, which was actually a chrome stool from West Elm. There she is. Let's put her in Photoshop and it would basically be right there or something like that. Before in that area, I actually had some like cube floating bookshelves that were stacked up and I had some plants on them and I still need a place to put my plants. And so I wanted to do a little stool situation there. I think it still looks cute. Really liking the way that the chrome is working out. And also I am planning to paint the mirror. So that is why it is black and my real one is gold. And the next item to add, which is over in that general area is a bench. This is one of the items that I like searched for in my last video. The two options that I put on my Instagram story aren't even necessarily the ones I would pick because I am thinking of doing a DIY, but they are just ones that I wanted to just have as like visual representation. One was a, again, chrome waterfall bench, which was like slatted. And the other was a, also a waterfall bench, but an upholstered one. It was gray and I don't even think that's the color I would choose anyways, but it's the only color it comes in from CB2 right now. Let's just put it in here first and then we can see how we're feeling. Cute, she's cute. And I am planning to keep the same picture or print setup that's over there right now. And so I actually took a photo, an old photo of those and cut out the prints so that I could lay them on top. They would look something like that. How do you guys feel about this? Now that I'm seeing it like this, I actually don't necessarily dislike the gray. I'm also not gonna buy this bench though because it's almost $500 I think. And that was not in the plan, but I do actually like the way the upholstered bench looks. We are making progress. Cool, okay. And now we move on to what is basically the living room. I went in and grabbed a swatch from my wallpaper back here because this is one of the things that is staying in the apartment. Um, I love this wallpaper, love Natalie who makes the wallpaper. I'm also gonna add in the rug that I chose. Pretty much is one of the things that I'm planning my entire apartment around and is like my dream rug and is one of the pieces that I'm splurging on, which is pretty much how I approach statement pieces. I feel like if it's a statement and it's something that's important to you and you want to and it makes sense, then I feel like it 
doesn't hurt to splurge on certain things, especially if the quality is there. I know that this rug is handmade in India. I also just really like this company and want to support a small female owned business in Brooklyn. And then the other last thing that I want to include in this area that I already have is my coffee tables with my little zebra friend. <laughs> See, I feel like it all comes together. This makes me really excited. Definitely feels much more my like current vibe and aesthetic. Okay, so the next piece that we want to factor in that was part of the polls that you guys voted on was a couch. In some ways I wanna go more minimal. I just don't wanna go quite as, I don't know. I feel like this couch is like very glam weirdly. I was actually thinking of going as kind of minimal and neutral as possible, which is one of the options that I had you guys vote on. But I also saw this couch and really liked it. It is a little bit, I guess, more similar to the one I have now, but I've also been thinking a lot about doing a beige instead of a gray and this one ended up winning. So let's add this and there you go. What do we think? Okay. Here it is. Oh my God. There's so much going on in New York tonight. I feel like I don't know what's happening. We're almost to the end though. The next item that I had you guys vote on was a floor lamp. This has been one of the things that has been plaguing me the most and is what I spent the majority of the last video talking about. The two lamps that I had you guys choose from, one was a very, very simple and minimal, I don't wanna say non-problematic, because all of them are non-problematic, but it's very easy to style type of lamp. And it was just this single orb lamp on a like rod. And then the other one was a little bit more, I don't know, I feel like it's very like spacey. That's the one that ended up winning. And I had a feeling kind of, let's add that in here. I'm debating on the lamp. I really like the lamp on its own. I think it's really cool. I feel like it's super unique, but I don't dislike it, but what do you guys think? I don't know. One thing that I do know though, is that I need to get a lamp in here ASAP because all I have are two like table lamps and it is dark in here and it's making me sad. Next up, I had you guys vote on two different fabric swatches that were velvet. They really could be any type of fabric, but when I think about it, I feel like velvet is pretty much what I see. And I didn't specifically say what those were for on my Instagram story, but they are potential fabric colors that I would want to reupholster my new dining chairs in. I really kind of do like what they're upholstered in now, but they are also, they're vintage chairs and I feel like it could be nice to just cover them in something else. One of the colors was a, what I am calling a deep teal velvet, and the other was what I am calling a raspberry. Deep teal one by a long shot. So this is extremely rough, but what it would kind of look like with the table. I don't dislike it. I don't know if I'm crazy about it like this, now let's just do a quick little review of what we've put together so far with your guys' picks or Instagram's picks. Here is kind of my bedroom area. Here is my mirror with my seating bench print area. Here is the living room over here. And here are my bistro table and chairs. Now I'm gonna try to quickly do one where it can all be in the same dock so you guys can see what it looks like. Here you have it. Okay, what do you guys think? I think that there are definitely a few things that probably don't fully work with this, um, especially given the fact that I didn't tell you guys exactly what would be paired together and whatever. So that was to be expected, but I think for the most part, it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. This is pretty close actually to what I had in my mind. And so it is cool to be able to see it come together. And finally, the last thing that I had you guys vote on, which I wanted to do after this was all together, were different types of like florals. One option was your classic, you know, leafy green, which is, you know, more so of what I have in here already. And then the second one is dried florals, which I feel like a lot of people are decorating with right now. And it's definitely very trendy and also a certain vibe, which I don't necessarily know is my vibe, especially in this whole space. I was kind of envisioning it for more of the living room area. And so I did a quick cutout of one that we can add and see what we think. And this is Pampas Grass. I feel like it actually looks pretty nice, like, with everything that's going on over here, but maybe not so nice or as well paired as these areas. I feel like in this area, actually, it does really complement it. Anyways, that is how the space came together. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. I hope that it was cool. I really liked having you guys involved. I think this step in the process, especially if you're being, I guess, this intentional about your space, is super, super helpful and making me especially feel better because I am splurging on some items about the things that I'm, I'm going to do that with. Yeah, that's, that's the video. I have no idea yet what the next episode in this series will be, but I have a lot of work to do and I'm ready to really like get moving on actually making the swaps. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for participating also. And just a quick thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And I was See you guys on the next video next week. All right, bye.